Hi, I'm Larry Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I browse different boards looking for great ideas by crafty people like you and share the, those great ideas with you. Each week I pick some of my favorite pins and bring them to life. And before we get into today's segment, as you can tell, we're going to talk about jewelry displays. I wanted to talk about another great resource that Pinterest is. A lot of people post tips and different guides and, you know, different ways to clean things. And this one today is particularly was fitting. It was from a great blog called All Things Thrifty. And she was pinned on her blog post about everything you need to know about spray paint. And since I use spray paint on this one, I thought that was fitting. And like I mentioned, I will always go back to my blog, allreddesign.net, and post any of the blogs that I link I mentioned on the show, so you can link back to them. You can also find them by going to my boards. Today's show is actually in my board on Pinterest called Jewelry Displays. So today, let's talk a little bit about jewelry displays. I have a lot of these necklaces that I wear. They're hard to figure out where to hang them. It drives my husband crazy. I have them hanging off the side of the towel racks. And he finally said, enough's enough. Figure out a way to display these. So I went to Pinterest, typed in jewelry displays, and some great ideas came up. And a lot of them are in my board that you can go to. But here's a few that I pinned that I wanted to point out. The first one's actually from a magazine called Living Country. And they took an old rake and actually mounted it to the back of a bathroom door and hung all their necklaces from which I thought was super clever and then another one of my favorites is a gal she had posted her name's Lauren from Full Measure of Happiness and on her blog she had her husband install a towel rack and then went and got shower curtain rings and it, as you can see in the Emmett picture the, her necklaces are all organized and hanging from those rings which I thought was a very clever idea so let's get real Let's talk a little bit about the great displays. I also loved a lot of the pins like this one that Catherine posted on Cat on a Limbs on her blog. And she kind of created a collage of frames and used them for jewelry displays, which that's what inspired my idea for today. I love that she created this collage showing different frames and the way that she could hang necklaces and earrings from. And it actually became kind of a display piece in her bedroom, which I thought was really cute. So let me show you these great ones that I created. These were just frames I picked up at a thrift store. I went through my basement and found old frames, picked up a $3 can of spray paint and spray painted them. This one I found at a thrift store and I loved how deep the frame was. I actually took this one and instead of adding the mesh behind it, I just bought some of these hooks and drilled some holes in so that I could hang my necklaces from. And I actually didn't mind that they hung outside of the frame. I thought that was really cute and that's going to look really cute in my bathroom. Let's just lay that down because I have a really beautiful one to show you. And this one I actually was is in my pin board, but it's also from one of my neighbors. Her name's Andrea McAllister. She created this one for her daughter's bedroom, and I couldn't resist. I gave her a call and asked her if I could bring her pin to life by showing you the actual idea here on the show. This is just an old frame that she had, her grandmother had that she spray painted this cute pink. She rubbed on some silver leafing, which I thought was a really nice detail, added some batting here to this cute toile and then it put these cute glass door pulls on and this is where her daughter hangs all of her necklaces from she can put stick pins in to hold up bracelets and different things and I just thought that was gorgeous so I couldn't resist borrowing it from her and I have to thank Charlie for letting me borrow it but let's talk about one you can make at home this one is just simply an inexpensive frame that I went and purchased some wire that you can get at Home Depot. It's over by the chicken wire. I love this square wire, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. So I have this cute frame. It's a white frame that actually came white. And I just popped everything out. You don't need the glass or anything. And then I cut down my wire to the size. So I just used some wire cutters. Go borrow your husband's. He's not using them anyway. And we're just gonna place that in there. A lot of the frames have these cute little metal tabs that hold the back. And these sh showed up a little bit, so I didn't want to use those. Actually, you can just take your staple gun and just... Now, I'm going to give you a trick. You're going to want to be careful and make sure with your frame that your staples aren't going through to the front. I learned the hard way. So just staple those in place. When you get that all done, go ahead and hang that up. You've got the perfect display. And on this larger one, I just purchased some S-hooks over in the hardware department at Home Depot 
to hang my necklaces from. They come in different sizes. I have my watches hung from some of them right here. The smaller S hooks hold some great necklaces. And I thought those turned out really cute. So it's really simple to do. This wire's not very much. It goes a long way. Maybe split it with a friend. So those are great tips and ideas for how to create your own jewelry displays. Be sure to join us next week when I show you some other great crafty ideas. Thanks for joining us with Inspired by Pinterest.